G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, today we're going to look at something that doesn't seem to be out there in video land. It's to do with pinch knurls. Now, this is a pinch knurl, and it's uh, the HBM. I've had it for a long time. And it's a good way of knurling. You can uh, basically crush down on the job and take some of the side load off of the knurling operation. I mean, the other sort of knurl is basically a plunge-type knurl, which is basically two little wheels on a shaft that pushes in. I prefer these. These are good to use, and they do put less load on the lathe, but, it's, you know, it's no big deal. It's just kind of whatever floats your boat. Now in this case, here's something I've done with this. It's a little knocker for tapping work in position on the lathe or whatever. It's like a little hammer. Works well. And basically that basically was just pinched in there like that. You run the lathe, feed it along it's at your fastest feed rate and you get a nice even pack. Uh, pattern works well does a good job and that's it you know I see people doing this all the time as I said there's a zillion videos there on this but then the question comes well what happens if you got something that big it won't fit in the the jaws won't possibly open up enough to do the job you know to knurl it you know people just don't seem to attempt to knurl it with this type of knurl, but you can because when it's all boiled down this is basically a very a variable version of a plunge knurl on a plunge knurl basically you've got two rollers you can have one in some situations but most come with two on a pivoting head, pivots, this pivots also, on a centre shaft, on a mounting block. And there's no reason why this can't be used as a plunge, a plunge nil and push in on the job just by applying force. The beauty of it is though, you can also do big diameter stuff with it either in this position or by opening it out either way it's not going to matter it'll still do the job and I'll demonstrate this you know too, too many people just seem to be hung up on the fact that it has to pinch down on the job to work but no it doesn't you can just push it in and we'll knurl this and see how it comes out alright quick and dirty video just a bit of info that people seem to overlook. Moving on. Now be aware that to use this method, the knurl arms must have clearance back from the face of the knurl, like this. This HBM is a, a really good little knurl. Not expensive either. But I've seen a lot of particularly homemade uh, pinch knurls where the arms come out basically past the end of the roller well that's no good that won't work well in most situations you have to have clearance obviously when the jaws open out so that the roller can contact the job so that's the only proviso to uh, doing it this way okay here we have it set up you might have a bit of a clearance issue in this case I've spun the top slide around to give me enough room to do it but um, it should work okay like that.
So the uh, the end result looks pretty damn good to me. And yeah, it just shows that the pinch nail can do more than just pinch. It can push as well. And it can make light work of most things. So there's another tip for you from the Zinadu workshop. And yeah, your basic pinch nail can do more than pinch. It can also give a bit of push and shove if necessary. Okay, I hope you got something out of that. I just think it's hard to square a bit. We'll see you next time. Cheers.